few of you have had this problem with this FlySky FSI6 when you try to update it to the 10 channel mod. So basically the problem is you download the firmware, you flash it, you know, from going to the special stick mode, and then you go to turn it on and that happens. No matter how low you go on each stick, that happens. So basically, what you have to do is you have to take it apart, crack all the screws off of it, get up inside, and it's all about this right here. This pot for the throttle, which is up and down. Apparently, with the modded um, firmware, it sees one more value than it actually produced before. So you have to force it to do that one more. So what you have to do, I know this is going to sound really gruesome, but you have to take a knife and cut off like a millimeter or two of these two tabs right here and just slice it just enough so that you can get it to move just a hair more lower so the pot will read it and it'll boot up. So when you do that, it'll look something like this. Boom. And this is the modded 10 channel FS i6 fly sky. That's how it's done. All right, so to actually do this FS i6 10 channel mod, you have to download this mod programmer here, and then you need one of these special serial to, no, USB to TTL cables. They can come in this flavor, or you can get one like this, where you have to like plug in the jumpers and pins all by themselves. But yeah, once you get those, you plug this into the back here. Once you get that plugged in, then you wanna plug this into your computer. Uh, mine has a little light on it telling me what's going on. And then you wanna do the fancy trick where you put both your throttles to the bottom left-hand corner and that should boot up a special mode. Yep, factory settings mode. And once you get in here, you wanna go all the way down to the bottom, firmware update, and then okay. Move up to say yes, hit yes. And once you get in update mode, you go back to the computer, you find out what COM port this is on. So let's see, let's go to device manager on my computer and it's gonna be ports COM. Mine is on COM port seven. So I'm gonna open COM port seven, open port, and it gets active. It sees what version I'm running. And then you have to hit program. I'm not gonna hit program because I've already done it and I don't wanna mess it up. So then after program, it'll reboot for you. And you should get this, but if you get that error saying that the stick's a little high, then you have to do the whole thing with the pod and cutting off that little thing. But yeah. That's how you do the mod. I'll post a link to this down below. And have fun flying. 10 channels.